Hello, Brother Monroe here. Welcome back to Taskmaster, where I take on other Ultimate Admiral content creators. Uh, Still 17 Gaming, Spartan League 43, District Guy Gaming, and the Serious Strategy Gamer. And <clears throat> this week is another one of my uh, crazier thoughts. Um, <laughs> so, <clears throat> very simple. Uh, we get one battle cruiser, and we have to try and kill as many cruisers as we possibly can. We get two points for a heavy cruiser um, and one point for a light cruiser. So far, so simple. However, the thing is, um, oh, and we also get two points if we kill all the ships we go up against, but we can choose how many ships we want to fight. Now, I have no idea how many ships the other uh, admirals have gone for at all um and i know that stealth is <laughs> actually doing his one live and not a premiere but full-on live so yeah i have no way of knowing so when i was thinking about this i thought right if i get torpedo heavy bills from the ai that's going to make the challenge a lot harder so bearing that in mind i thought 10 heavy cruisers. Now, if I killed all 10 heavy cruisers, that would give me 20 points plus 2, so 22 points. And then I thought, if I think that, someone else is going to think that, so I'm going to go for 20. <laughs> so, if I manage this, I will get... Uh, 20 points times so 40 points plus 2 for killing everything. Now we are allowed, so say I kill, I don't know, 10 or however many, then we are allowed to disengage. So we lose that 2 point bonus for killing everything, but uh, we still get our points because if our battle cruiser is sunk, we get nothing. Nothing at all. So if you go heavy, the maximum number you could put in is 99 heavy cruisers for a maximum of 200 points. And you killed 98 of them, but the last one smacks you with a torpedo and you sink. You get nothing. So it is a risk reward. So I'm going to go 1v20. And I'm just going to cross my fingers and pray that we do not get... Um, <laughs> we do not get torpedo heavy builds. Now, we have to use the large cruiser. We don't get a choice in that. So, the Caledonia here. Uh, now then, I think I know what I want to go for. So, I'm going to go with the Advanced Tower 1 and the Compact Secondary Tower 1. Let's try and get those in the middle of the ship. There we go. I'm pretty sure I want to go with four 12-inch guns triples because the 12 inch yeah is the highest mark i can get well that the largest caliber mark 5 gun i can get so i'm going to go with the 12 i'm going to fiddle around with the uh, where the turrets actually are in a minute because i want them to have really really good fire arcs and then secondary guns i'm thinking just a couple of 6 inch guns to be honest either side just for that little bit of added um, punch if an enemy gets close. I don't want to go crazy on the armament. Okay, so let's get these turrets sorted out. So I want them to have really, really good fire arcs. There we go. And... Right about there. And then of course I'm going to have to balance the ship out by... Oh, I've got a little bit of a four weight offset. Okay, can move this one back a bit. That'll do. And I'll, I'll build the rest of the ship up as we go. But that should give me pretty good fire arcs. So I should be able to manoeuvre because um, if there are torpedoes 
then I'm going to have to be able to be pretty nimble. Uh, I'm going to go for oil. And that gives me smoke of 69, so basically just a mega funnel too. Uh, let's go with... Yeah, balanced boilers, which will give me a speed of... 31 knots, that's that's acceptable. Range is not important in this. Um, bulkheads is. So I'm going to go with max bulkheads. I'm also going to go with diesels so that I can keep going for as long as possible. And I'm going to go with turbo electric drive and the best shaft. I'm also, while I'm here, going to grab sonar 3, uh, radar, uh, coincidence range finder. I'm not going to bother with torpedoes. I'm going to try and do this gun only. Hmm. Explosives wise. Right, let's get the protection sorted out. So, I'm going to want to be heavily protected. I'm going to go with a triple bottom hull as well. Just need to watch out because I'm already at 91%. Mind you, I do have most of the ship built. So. That's a 5% flash fire chance with Lidite standards. I was actually considering Lidite, but let's go for um, high TNT. Let's get that uh, hull weight reduction and the kind of mixed 2% flash fire. Does that mean I could... I could push it and go for super heavy shells. Right. Uh, what's the difference between 94... 3... Oh. Go for the full auto and advanced hydraulics. Gives me five percent left for armor. I'm gonna I'm gonna rely on dodging torpedoes. If I get hit, I'm in trouble anyway. Hmm. Would like more armor though. Uh, I would like more armor. Go for 8-8 eight, eight to start with. Deck. I actually think 3-2 is fine. Let's go for 12 on the turrets. Uh, and I want more main belts. 10 would be lovely. 10.5. Uh, ten well, let's go for 10, because I still need to armor up the tower a bit. Um, I consider losing a knot of speed as well. I don't want to take superstructure damage too much. Okay. So it's not the thickest armor in the world. Hmm. Certainly wouldn't keep out my own guns, but AI heavy cruisers, they might have 11 inch super heavy guns, possibly, in which case I'm going to struggle. But if they've got like 6 or 8 inch guns, then that should be more than enough to keep most things out. How much weight do I save if I drop a knot of speed? Um, reasonable amount, actually. Just, I do just do want a little bit more protection. I'm probably going to regret that. Okay, so 12 inch main belt, 8.9 on the extended, 3 and 2 on the deck, 13, 3, 12, 3, 3 and a half. Yeah, the secondaries aren't particularly well protected, but you know, they're secondaries. Right, we've got a tiny bit of a four weight offset. But uh, I'm 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 happy enough with that, um, and I just hope that this ship proves effective. Oh boy! All right, let's press launch. Cross our fingers. One v twenty. Oh god. <clears throat> okay. Okay. Really, it's the torpedo tubes that we're going to need to worry about. Fours. And let's go now look at what we're dealing with. Okay. I think we're in business. I don't see any surface-mounted torpedo tubes. 
which is excellent. Um, I do actually quite like the look of that ship. And what have we got? Nine inch guns. That showed me there briefly. I'm looking here, by the way. Three twin nine inch, one triple five inch gun, which is this one, I guess. And one game. There we go. Okay, so they don't have a lot of guns. This might be doable. This might be doable. Right, guns off. Don't waste your ammunition. We've uh, we've got to close in, and we've got to find out what they're packing. Because they're headed away from us just now. Although, now they might be turning towards us, which is good. I just don't... I, uh, I have gone with standard chills. That's a lot of ships to kill. Um, <laughs> and if I run out of shells, I'm in uh, I'm in a bit, a bit of bother. So I'm going to close until I've got them identified, at the very least, and we can figure out a plan of attack. Taking a little bit of fire damage, but so far they're firing he at me, which is a very good sign, because that usually means that they can't pen my armour, at this range anyway. If we start seeing AP shells, then uh, yeah, we're going to have to think about that. Six inch guns are wailing away, to no effect, so there we go. Damage to a main tower, less good. Come on, get me an ID. I need to know if there are torpedoes headed my way or not. Okay, got AP shells coming out now. So, let's get on an intercept course. Cause some damage. Purely with the uh, six inch guns there. Damage the rudder. Okay. Let's have a quick look at you. We have the night. The guns are previously. Minimum bulkheads. Oh, yeah. Si Wait, 69 million? How did you spend 69 million dollars? on a ship this bad. 34 knots, so they're faster than me. Armour is piss poor. Cordite. Increased ammo sh Oh, well, okay. Well, this should be fun. All guns. Maria Juan. It's one of my six inch guns out. But uh, rapidly causing damage here. Uh, Maria Juan turning away. Couple more flooding hits. Come on, finish her off. Okay, that'll probably do. Target the next one. Yeah, and down she goes. Good stuff. Might actually be enough to kill her already. Should be good. She's uh, done for anyway. Right, go for the San Salvador next. Oh! Ho oh, oh. ho! Ammo explosion, thank you very much. Oh, are you going to survive on 1% float? 
0.1%. Six. Okay, good. Okay, that's a lot of flooding on the San Salvador. Next target. Okay, good damage. Another salvo like that. Now I am losing structure quite quickly, which is a bit of a concern. All those partial penetrations do add up. More flooding might might be enough. We'll see. Oh, that, that'll do. <laughs> Next. <coughs> That's good. Two flooding hits. Here again. Oh, ammo detonation. And dead. Okay, good stuff. Right. Next obvious one is the San Augustine. Flooding straight away. Oh, nice. Okay, I think she's pretty much toast after that ammo detonation. Possibly not, but I want to take ships out of the fight as quickly as possible. And she might sink on her own. Mm, or maybe not. But she's unlikely to hit me very much after that. Oh, nope, she went down. And we have flash fires going away. Pretty sure that ship is done for too. Oh my god, look at my structure just dropping like nobody's business. Still a lot of heavy cruisers to go. Of course, everyone I take out is less damage than I take. Come on. Good shot. Okay. That'll that'll do that. On to the Trinidad. Good hits. Another flooding hit. Not enough. Hit him again. Good. I didn't mean to pause there. Uh, is that enough? Put you down. I think it might. Might be worth putting one more sallow into it to be sure. There we go. <laughs> I mean, I mean, nine ammo detonations. That's pretty good going. Right, how many are they down to now? Uh, one, two, three. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So, eleven. We've cut them down by about half. So, as I said, ten probably would have been a good bet. Come on, that's not enough flooding. More. There we go, that'll do. Right. Come to starboard and target the Virgin. Let's get rid of these uh, these cruisers on our starboard side. Down she goes. Of 
plumbing hit. Good, 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 good. Oh my word. Okay. Yep. I think the Vergen is completely dead from that. Fire on the Aragon. At least I'm pretty sure the Vergen is. Yep, Vergen is very dead. <laughs> And you can see now why I went with the diesels and the turbo electric drive, so that even though all my engines are out, I'm still able to make a decent speed, 17.9 knots. People often ask, why don't you go with the uh, double-geared steam turbines? Oh, that was a wasted shot. She's turning away. Flooding hit. Good, good. Another flooding hit. Excellent. Right, target the sand one. Oh, this is gonna be this is gonna be tooth and nail, this is. Lots of flooding hits. Not a kill shot yet though. Oh, the Aragon went down. Okay. Well, the San Juan, I think, is dead. Yep, definitely dead. Go for the Republica. Hit straight away. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six, six of the bastards left. Celadon or Caledon. How many hits have we taken? <laughs> okay. Uh, One thousand three hundred and sixty two hits we've taken including 720 off those 9-inch guns. That is crazy. Oh, that was, that was pretty shocking. Why is the accuracy so terrible? Oh, target is maneuvering. Okay. Like the next one. Can't afford to miss shells. That's the game they want to play. Ow! Stop it. Flooding. Engine damaged. Good hits. Not enough. Do it again. Flash fire, that helps. Excellent stuff. Next one. Oh, the Spanish can sense that I'm struggling now. 3% structure. Poor old Caledonia's been absolutely shot to bits. Explode, you bastard. Turning away, you little shit. Right, hit him one more time, and then we're going to move on to the next one in the line. D 
did do some decent damage on him there. On her then. One percent structure. Oh my word! It's going down to the wire. Down goes the uh, Thomas Aquinas or the Thomas de Aquino. No! Stop it! <laughs> oh my god, what is holding the ship together at this point? <laughs> oh my god, this is so stressful. Alright, they're moving away as well. Target like the next one. Because while they're turning away, they are not really too effective firing. And it reduces my accuracy a lot. I'd rather get damage in on the ships I can. Like that. Oh no, 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 no. Stop it. My poor funnel. That was good stuff. Flash fire. Oh no! <laughs> oh dearie me. That was close. That was close. Well, I had a lot of fun there. I also think I need to go and have a lie down because that was stressful. <laughs> oh my god. Zero points. I mean, that's the rules. But, uh, close run thing. <laughs> and I think the ship did pretty damn well, given that each of those cruisers was 69 million and this was 80. And we sunk or damaged the vast majority, 20 of those things. Anyway, thanks very much for watching. Go check out the other guys. Go check out Stealth if he's still live. Um, if I can figure out how to do it, this should go into that automatically if you're watching the premiere. Um... But other than that, thanks very much for watching, and I'll see you again soon for some more Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts. Bye-bye.